Continuing on for, from our discussion in the previous video where we talked about print area, I now would like to discuss setting your margins. So if I go and actually take a quick look at my print preview here, you can see it's printing the entire spreadsheet, all the columns on a portrait um, orientation for the piece of paper. So let's just go ahead and change that. I'm going to change my orientation to landscape. I'm going to do that on the page layout tab using the orientation button. Now if I go back to print preview, preview we can see that it is now landscaped and my printout is in the top left hand corner. Well, we can make adjustments to this and we can make adjustments to this by centering the printout horizontally as well as vertically on the page. Now keep in mind if your information occupies the entire page, well these settings aren't going to really make much of a difference, but because my spreadsheet only occupies a portion of the page, well then it can become a, kind of a useful feature. The other, our other feature we will look at here is adjusting your margin settings. Right now they're quite large and I might want to reduce my margins. So first we'll take a look at the preset margins and you find that under page layout you click the margins button and then you have normal and it gives you all the dimensions for the top left, bottom right, as well as the header and footer. You have wide margins and then you even have narrow margins. So I'm going to go ahead and choose narrow. It's going to apply that change. If I now go and take a look at my printout, you can see the information has got a lot closer to my left margin and to the top margin. And that's because again, its orientation is set to top left. So it's printing in the top left corner. If we wanted to change where the actual printout is going to appear on the page, well, we can do that by using the same margins button. We can just click it and choose custom margins down along the bottom. And when you do that, it pops up page setup. And in page setup, I have all the custom margins I can set. So if you wanted to do custom margins, you can set that here. As well as these two options down along the bottom. It says center on page horizontally, which is going to center the information horizontally on the page. Let's go take a quick look at this. I'm going to click OK to apply that change. And I'm going to go back to my printout. So you can see it's now centered horizontally on the page. If I wanted to center it vertically, well, we can also do that there by putting a check mark in the vertically section on the margins tab. If I go to check my printout again, you can see it's centered horizontally and vertically on that page. And like I said, if your information is occupying the entire page, it's not going to make much of a difference. And there's a lots, there are actually lots of ways to get to that dialog box. You don't have to use the margins button. I just find this quite convenient since we're setting margins and those options at the same time. Uh, however, you could just go directly into page setup by activating this button here on the page layout tab. And then just make sure you go to your margins tab and you can even access page setup directly through uh, print. If you go file print down the side here, right at the bottom, kind of an inconspicuous little link, page setup, and then you're gonna access that same setting and same information there. So if you make the changes here, you can kind of see it happen live in your print preview. So you have it. That's how you can adjust your margins as well as the uh, location that the printout is gonna appear on the page.